I'm Glenn Schultz with the FDT Group. We're here at Hanover Fair 2014 showing our integrated brewery concept with more than five networks integrated with the FDT standard. So one of the great strengths of the FDT standard is that it integrates more than 18 different networks in the industry. And that's what we're really demonstrating here at Hanover Fair. So in this section of the booth, you can see that we've got heart devices featured. So this is all interconnected through the communications cabinet that you see down here below. And these are all products that are sponsored by member companies of the FDT group. So you've got all the heart communications, the power supplies and so on are located in the cabinet. Then you've got devices on top of the tank that are controlling and measuring the liquid levels in the tank, as well as pressure and temperature instruments that are monitoring the process flow coming out of that tank. And then immediately above that, we've got an FTT frame application. This one happens to be Pactware's frame application that demonstrates the integration of all the DTMs, the device type managers that represent these various devices in the standard. So those are all shown on the left side of that frame and you can access each device and all of its parameters through that interface. In the center section here, we're featuring the control system, and in this case, the process control is being done by Rockwell Automation in a control logics environment. So you can see the graphics on the top, they're responsible for maintaining the flow of the beer throughout the system. And it's very important that we not only maintain reasonable levels in the tanks, but because of the rest of the process, we also have to maintain the correct pressure levels. They're doing this control through a combination of heart and Profibus networks. And their equipment is located on this lower section showing the control logics processor uh, and the necessary network interface equipment. And again, all done with the FDT standard. And now we're at the Profibus segment of the booth. So all these devices that you see here are Profibus devices. And in the lower cabinet, you can see the members who have provided Profibus equipment to set up the entire network. Uh, we have a number of valves that are on Profibus, uh, some instruments that are on Profibus, and here again you can see at the, at the top uh, CRT you have a good look at an FDT application running. In this case, the view that you have here is actually an FDI device package running inside of FDT. So this is fairly new. The FDI standard is not released yet, but it will be released by the end of the year. FDT is very active in that standard. And this just simply demonstrates that the FDI device packages integrate seamlessly into an FDT frame application. Okay, now we've moved over to the bottling skid of the application. And here, this transitions to primarily factory automation networks. So we have IO Link and a few other factory automation networks. And this is controlling the system that does the bottling of the beer. So it fills the beer bottles, and on the back side, it empties the beer bottles. The primary conveyor control and fill control is done by a Schneider Electric PLC that you can see down below. This is running FTT applications on there, and they've integrated all of the devices necessary for control through FDT. And on the top monitor, you simply have a view of some of those DTMs running inside the Schneider Electric PLC programming environment. And they're the same type of DTMs that you could see on any other part of the application, since that's the beauty of the standard, is they're all compatible with one another. So one of the fun things we've added to the booth this year is a little quiz about the FDT standard. So the participants simply come and answer six simple questions, just testing their knowledge of the FDT standard from a very high level. And at the end, they can enter their name. And then over on the kiosk on the side, it prints out a ticket for them. And being a good Belgium-based company, we bought some fine Leffe Belgium beer and in the evening, they can bring those tickets and redeem them for a good Leffe beer. What they don't know is that, depending on how well they do in the quiz, determines how much beer they get in their glass. So hopefully everybody's scoring 100%.